I met Andrew about two years ago. He was uh, speaking about gender-based injustice and uh, talking about a, a book that he'd been part of writing. And he told me about this play that he was expanding from a one act to a, two, a full length. Um, and I said, could I read the script? The realities of human trafficking are really overwhelming and I wanted to tell a story that would really capture people's hearts, tell a human story. And I think theater um, is just an amazing way to do that. My motivation for, for directing this show uh, came out of my own just, just learning about human trafficking and um, feeling actually overwhelmed by, by the statistics. Here was this, this play that when I read the play the first time, it was very an early, early draft, um, I couldn't put it down. I've only read one other play that I actually couldn't physically put down and that made the soles of my feet sweat because I was so anxious trying to get to the end of it to see what, what, what's gonna happen. Um, so that, that certainly hooked me. And then um, when we did our workshop, first workshop reading of the, the play about a year ago, uh, seeing the audience's response to the show, um, it just felt like I, we have to do the show. We, we've gotta produce this. It's a story that needs to be told in every city in, in Canada and the United States all over the place. I'm very excited about the artists that we've assembled to work on the show. Um, the cast, uh, we've got Denise Wong playing number 18. She's a Calgary-based actor. We've got Aaron Krogman playing Jason. Uh, Glenda Workington playing Marta, who's Jason's supervisor. Carrie Russell playing uh, Allie, who is Jason's wife in the story. Um, and then Sienna Howell Holden, who is playing the mama. Uh, the, um, all of the, the women in the cast also double as, as voices. Uh, and I'm, each one of these actors, I'm, I'm very thrilled about working with, and I can't wait to see them all on stage together. Uh, for our designers, we have uh, Jalene Weeb doing costume design, Luke Ertman doing sound design, Anton de Groot doing lighting design, and I'm also doing set. I hope audiences will um, really see that human trafficking is a human issue. I think statistics can often just become numbers and um, something like human trafficking uh, loses just that human element. And I hope they go away being um, touched by the story, that these are real people um, caught up in these incredible stories and have just a real emotional um, understanding of the issue. Burnt Thicket Theatre is one of Calgary's newer theatre companies. James Popoff is the artistic director and uh, he and I launched the, the company a couple of years ago. Burnt Thicket Theatre exists to enliven or restore life to audiences through original performance. And we want to we produce new plays that uh, bring our audiences to lead more engaged lives. Uh, Raise Their Voice is an official society in Alberta and exists to creatively and effectively address issues of injustice. We've done publications, uh, global publications, we do theatre now, and uh, film and dance, and we just want to spread uh, messages through creativity so about justice issues. So it's a great partnership. Mm -hmm. The world premiere of She Has a Name is in Calgary, opening February 23rd, running till March 5th at Calgary's Epcor Center's Motel. And you can see it in Red Deer at the Scott Block Theatre from March 9th to the 12th.